Hey guys, Anthony, 4 before 4 Diesel. Uh, a number of people have asked for the procedure on changing the transmission oil. This is the uh, five-speed auto found in a number of Toyotas, mainly the Prados. Toyota Prado 150, also the 120, some of the later Hiluxes. It's in other vehicles as well, but they're the ones we work on. And the, we're going to go through sort of the procedure and rough uh, idea on how to do the transmission oil change. You don't need to change a filter you just need to uh, drop the oil out and refill that so without wasting any more time let's get the vehicle up in the air and i'll let you know okay, what we're doing so we've raised the vehicle up in the air and it needs to be level so you can do this on the ground or you can do it in the air or you can raise it a little bit or a lot whatever you want but the main thing is it's level because we need it level to set the transmission oil level when we're done a few of the tools you're going to need are i believe going from memory here the filler plugs are 24 mil um, there's an Allen key to at the check level which I think is about a 4 or 5 mil I'll confirm that by the end of the video and I'm pretty sure it's a 14 mil for the drain plug so what we're going to do we're just going to drain the oil we're going to refill the oil we're going to run the engine we're going to drop it again so you never get all the oil out and dropping it refilling it mixing it and dropping again works better than adding oil at the same time as you're taking it out because you're better off to drain it you've got most of it out if you know what i mean bit of hope you can get your head around that what i'm trying to say so first thing we're going to do is go and crack all three plugs loose so we're going to go ahead and get in there and do that what did i say 24 mil for the filler plug and that's found by accessing up behind this cross member here from where the exhaust is so it's ideal if you don't have the exhaust too hot but you do want to have your transmission at around the 40 degree mark so we just crack that loose you know what we won't just crack it loose we'll just take that plug right out it is hard to see it is quite a difficult spot up there to see common size the 24 mil on a lot of dips and stuff including on the Toyotas Okay, I'll just confirm I did use a 24 and I'll just get that filler bolt plug out completely. There it is there and it's got an O-ring on it which is usually in good condition and you can reuse that or you can replace that, whatever you prefer. You always want to get your filler plug out first because if for some reason you can't, you don't want to get stuck not being able to refill it, right? As I said, 14 mil here. All right, so that crack was pretty easy because it wasn't over tightened, which is good. That was definitely a 14 mil. And the Allen key we've got here, I'm just going to pull it out and have a look. It's a 5 mil. So we're just going to put that. This is the check level. All right, I'm just going to. That one's a bit tight, should probably put that socket down, but yeah, that was a bit tight, but anyway, that's cool. So they're all both just finger tight now. We need to bring our drone tray into position. Position. And you probably need an assistant for this. I've got an assistant in the vehicle. How you going up there, Johnny? You alright? Good Anthony. So we've got the assistant, it's kind of a two-person job. If you want to get it done efficiently, you can do it on your own. Okay, so now that we've got the drone tray in position, we're going to remove the drone pod. And there it is. And I'll drop it down a little bit so you can see the colour of the oil. It's not black. It's not uh, the worst we've seen. Now you need to pick a background. I'm not sure if I did a transmission oil change video. I may have may have done that I'm not sure you can't really see much where you are other than the procedure I'm trying to show you so that's cool uh, the oil's draining out I've got a background I can look at that's yellow and I can't see through the oil so as far as I'm concerned it's normal it's not really bad or anything it's brown it's just how they are it's not a problem, but it's going to be better. The oil is the lifeblood of the transmission. 
and it's definitely going to protect the transmission components better being clean. So watching the oil drain at the moment, safe to say it's below the check level so we're going to take the check plug out also, being careful not to use, uh, lose, not use, lose, there's a couple little washes there, same on the drain plug and the check plug, same washes, there is a little bit of red colour in this, I'm just going to show you the colour of it, I don't know if you can see that on my hand, no. probably can't tell too much but it's not filthy black stinking oil. It's just brown, a bit discoloured, not too bad. So, as it gets down to a thinner stream like it is now, I can see the red in it. So, that's good, sort of tells it's not a bad condition. So, for the purposes of keeping this video short, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do next. Okay, you've seen me drain the oil. Well, you want a long video where I just show you the whole thing, or do you want a shorter video? I don't know. I'm trying to. Look, in the comments, you've got to tell me, what do you prefer? Longer videos where I show you everything or and talk a lot and keep you entertained and educate you? Or do you want shorter videos? Because, you know, a lot of people don't hang around and watch. So let me know what you want in the comments. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put those two plugs back in. We're going to add approximately two litres of oil in the filler hole, the big plug that we took out. We'll show you the location of those hopefully before the end of the video, unless I forget. And then we're going to run the engine, circulate that oil, and then we're going to drop it again. So for the first one, stick around, I'll show you. Sorry about that, we got cut off by a phone call, but that's okay. We've got the, the filler hose, right, with the oil in the filler plug. We just need to add... drain plug we're just going to put that back in finger tight is all it needs to be at this stage okay and we are pumping oil in up the top where the filler plug is right now after about oh, I won't tell you how many pumps because I'll just make myself look too good and I'm not that good after a number of pumps quite a number of pumps you're probably going to see some oil start overflowing at the check plug that is not the correct level okay there's a guy I know in Brisbane and he used to set transmission levels with the engine not running actually wanted to argue about it anyway after triple checking my information finally I was able to finish the argument and correct him on that one and when I recommended he gets all those vehicles back to set the level correctly yeah there wasn't much of a response so all the best to those people as I say you've got to be careful who you go to see the oil that's coming so we're getting to a level now the oil that's coming out still looks a little bit grotty so I'm going to keep pumping a little bit because this is kind of almost part of my flush when I see it start coming red like that that's when I'm going to go and put that plug in that's the check plug. It's good practice for when you've got to do it later. Okay? Now I'm just going to put a little bit more oil in because I'm telling you it's nowhere near the correct level. You need to have the engine running for the correct level. Safe to run the engine for a short period of time, but you need to, it's imperative that these are set on the correct level, which is probably why you should take it to an expert. And you'd hope that a transmission specialist is an expert, but sometimes unfortunately we find that there's some not quite experts working at places that are meant to be experts so look we've got people again we've got people we recommend that can do this job for you right the first time using all the correct oil and setting the level correctly which is really important so what we're going to do now is get the assistant it's his job hey johnny you there wake up wake up we've got a job for you you there yes oh beautiful can you please make sure you keep your foot on the brake the whole time so the wheels don't turn Start the engine once I give you the okay, not yet, and then go through the gears, and that is park, reverse, neutral, drive, you know, two, three, one, four, whatever. Just pause at each gear for approximately two seconds, one to two seconds, and just keep going up and down, up and down. Keep your foot on the brake the whole time, and when I say thank you, switch it off. 
That means put it back into park and then switch it off for me. You got that? Thanks, mate. Go ahead and please do that. Remember to keep your foot on the brake. Thank you. Can you please pass the scan tool out the window? while you're doing that so that I just lower it down slowly by the lead so that I can watch the uh, transmission temperature. Have you got enough lead to lower it down more? Or... That'll do that, so I'll bring it down, that'll do it. Perfect, mate. Just let it hang by the lead, that's it. Perfect, that's it. Perfect, okay. See what I'm doing, I'm what, I've set the transit, what I haven't told you yet is, before starting this job, I like to start with a cold engine. But I warm it up, the transmission to approximately 40 degrees before we drop the oil out, because we need to set the transmission oil level just over 40 degrees. If we started with it cold, we could be here idling for a long time, or needing to stall up the transmission and put unnecessary wear on it to warm it up quickly. Same goes if the engine is too hot and the transmission starts off at 70 or 80. We can't get it cool enough to set the level correctly. It's imperative that this oil level is set correctly. So what we're doing, we've got the assistant circulating all the transmission oil until it hits approximately 40 degrees. And any moment when I stop motor mouthing, I'm going to ask him to put it back in park and we're going to drop the oil again. So let's do that. Hey, Johnny. Chuck it in park and switch it off please mate. And then, where's that plug? I'm not looking, I'm going by feel here. And then, we're gonna drop that oil out again. So what we've done, we dropped every bit that we could get out, out. We put some more in to where the Dolmio grin. It's not quite a Dolmio grin. It might be that when it's red, like tomatoes when it's clean, but at the moment it's still brown. And I'm still looking at it going, yeah. And we just keep this process going until we see some, actually, I'm just looking at it. There's a quite a bit of red, depending, see what, you gotta watch your background, right? So it's, this is always gonna be a kind of about a 90% thing. You're never gonna get the oil out. I mean, you could put a hundred liters through a transmission and you're only gonna get 99% out sort of thing. 99% um, is good enough. You know what? 90% is good enough. 70% is good enough. Now, rather than put 30 litres or 40 litres through every five years, I'd suggest you do it more often where you use less oil, okay? So I, I think if you drive right, you, doing it every 50,000 is probably too often. You're going to be wasting oil and paying out labour unnecessarily. Um, I would suggest about the 100,000 mark. So don't open a transmission while the vehicle's under warranty. Uh, the manufacturers and repairers won't like that if you are that unlucky that you have a problem. So the first time you do this is once the vehicle is out of warranty. And that oil, I can tell you, it's an improvement on what was, uh, what was coming out the first time. So it's already improved. And I'll just have a look at a little sample on my fingers to confirm. So that's not bad. I could fill this up and send it out and I'd be happy with that. But I know what people are like. It's definitely not... It's probably uh, around 70%, okay? So with two drops, with one amount of oil added, it's going to improve a lot each time we do this. I would suggest around 10 to 15 litres of oil is the amount of oil that you're going to use to do this. So whether you do it yourself or whether you're going to bring it to me or one of our recommended workshops, feel free to buy the oil when it's on special and we'll talk a little bit more about which oil in other videos and maybe at the end of this video again if I don't forget so we're going to repeat this process so the purposes of keeping it short we're going to repeat this a few times and when we join up the video I'll just let you know how many times we've dropped it and rest assured we'll include the rest of the important information
All right, so this is the final fill. So we've got new washers on our drone plugs. And we've topped it up. And plus a little bit extra. Now we started the car. We're looking at the temperature. Telling we've got to do, be looking at the temperature of the transmission, which can change very quickly. Currently on about 35 degrees. And we're just slowly topping it up. It's going to be just a little bit below overflowing. Anytime soon it's going to start overflowing. There it is. You can see it's quite light. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is quite clean. Which is what we want. I can't remember how many times I've dropped it. You know, three or four. We've got our assistant in the vehicle. Can you please circulate through the gears, please, sir? Sorry if I'm yelling at everyone, but we've got the engine running, of course, so it can be a bit noisy. We've got the assistant putting it through the gears. And you can see as it circulates, it can stop overflowing, it can start overflowing. We've got to watch that temperature. Look, we've got a temperature here. I don't know if you can see that, yeah? At the bottom of the picture there, 37.5. So we've got it here, we're watching that right in the picture and what's going to happen as it heats up it's automatically going to keep overflowing because the oil is becoming it's expanding it's taking up more space therefore it's going to overflow okay so at the moment we're just circulating the oil to warm up the oil also because we need to set the level there's a number of different documents on this for the same transmission and they talk generally anything from 40 to even over 50 degrees. My preference is between 40 and 45 degrees. I actually put the plug in usually when the transmission's on about 42.5 degrees, funnily enough. Okay, at the moment we're on 38.7 and we're circulating the oil. Any minute we're gonna chuck it in park as it's about to hit 40, I reckon. Let's have a look. Bring it over in the picture for you. All right, there it is. 38 there, told you about to hit 40, so what we're going to do now, can you please put it in park? We're going to put it in park and we're just going to really slowly add the oil, really slowly, just until it becomes a trickle or if too much comes out, then we're going to stop, see it's just running a little bit now. I'm happy with that, it's 40 degrees. But it's probably about to go up a little bit. We're just going to fine tune it here and make sure it's spot on because that's how we roll. Been doing this for years, never had an issue. It's looking good, nice clean oil coming out. It's going to take a while to heat up, I think. So I think we're going to be. It's a winter transmission change, more like we've got 40 point something, but anyway. Normally it warms up quicker, the summer thing, the heat through the engine, but I'm happy with that, so... It's like an auction at 40.6 degrees. Are we done? Are we done at 40.6? Are we done? Can you sit still in there please, sir? The problem you got, guys, is the engine, the transmission, it's rocking around a little bit as well, pushes oil out. Can you put it through the gears for me one more time, please, operator? Can't help myself, I've got to bring it up a bit hotter again still. See, we've got 40.6. Alright, back to park, please, sir. Thank you. And sitting really still if you can, please. And the next problem is I'm putting in cold oil, so it doesn't help things either. Still on 40.6, so at 40.6, this is my third and final call. It's hard for you to tell in the camera, but that's barely a drip, a trickle. That is perfect. Can you please put it in park and switch the engine off, please, operator? Thank you very much for your assistance. Your job is complete. Can you please uh, take that scan tool, just grab the cord and pull it up carefully away from the paintwork. 
and place that up there where it was before. Go for it. All yours. Okay, guys, so just a little bit of uh, info at the tail end. If you got something out of that, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, you know, subscribe. We've got heaps more awesome information coming your way. And also share it around for other people. If you've got any questions or comments, look forward to reading those. A couple of last bits of info I've got for you. We've been using the um, Penrite FS, which was available for these before the LV. The LV came out, um, you know, let's say a few years ago now. It stands for low viscosity. Um, without going on about it too much, we've spoken to the Penrite experts and they said the fs was fine it was out there before the lv the spec in the oil is that much the only difference is the viscosity and it's just absolutely tiny the fs is a lot more available and it's cheaper you get it on those specials when you know super cheap and repco are giving it away 40 percent off i suggest you get yourself a 20 liter drum even if you're going to bring it to me to do this procedure to make sure it's done right it is your transmission it's a very expensive component and it, you do need to make sure it's right so Either this video has helped you get it done yourself, or it's convinced you to bring it into one of us that are very experienced with it. Whatever you want to do, that's what we do here at the Prado Hospital. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. See ya. Hey, guys, last thing I forgot to tell you on these check plugs here, I did say, I'm pretty sure I said it was a 5mm Allen key, a 14mm over there, and your filler plug, if you look straight up there, see in the middle of the picture, it's a bit dark. You access it back here, it's up there, right? Quite hard to find. Right on below the catalytic converter. Right, 24 mil. Um, torque spec on these, I believe, is 20 Newton meters. Okay, hope that helps. I don't know what else I've got for you. Bada bing, bada boom.